top of the morning to you, and welcome to La Hinch, or as the local authorities controversially refer to it as, La Hinch, also known as Surf City. The word La Hinch actually derives from the Gaelic translation of half an island, and as you can see from this bird's eye view, it really does look like half an island. La Hinch nestles on the west coast of Ireland itself, in one of the world's best counties, that of County Clare. And you can't fail to spot La Hinch on this vibrant map. Look, there's a surfer, and a golfing emblem. It's just like being there for real. But one of my favourite things about being here in La Hinch was knowing that I was close to the ancestral home of Muhammad Ali. And that's the truth. Here he is visiting the area. And here's a statue of him that was built in his memory. Now as if that wasn't special enough, La Hinch is also located really close to the home of Father Ted. Go on, go on, go on. Now on a less amusing note, and as an example of the rich history of the area, La Hinch also bore witness to numerous shipwrecks during the Spanish Armada. A telling reminder to be extra careful if you venture out into the rough seas of La Hinch. Getting to La Hinch really could not be easier. I took a plane and landed at Shannon Airport, just a short but beautiful drive away from La Hinch. With the ethereal light that greeted me upon my arrival, along with the expansive beach, long promenade, beautiful golf course and rolling waves, I was reminded why La Hinch is a global mecca for surfers, golfers, artists and race walkers alike. Yes, the rural and urban topography of La Hinch makes it one of the world's best locations for race walking. Here's one of the locals giving it a go in the tricky conditions. And there's me, just about to overtake her. Race walking in La Hinch never gets boring, and you can do it whatever the weather. Even in the Siberian snowstorms that are specific to this area of the Irish coast. And when this adverse weather does strike, the locals do not let it get in the way, nor should you. As they say in La Hinch, don't count the days, make the days count. And that's exactly what we see here with this incredible snowman that has been built by one of the locals. Oh look, there's another. Let's go and meet him. Such a lady snowman. Now I discovered that this snowman had been built by a local Polish resident who is one of the best snowman builders in the world. That's the truth. In addition to snowman building and race walking, you can make your days in La Hinch count with all sorts of other activities. Take bird watching for example. Here's a rare blackbird, fortuitously caught on camera. For more artsy types, they have an array of leading galleries for you to enjoy. And if you're lucky enough to be here on a Friday or Saturday, they have actual music for you to listen to in Kenny's Bar. The less active thrill seekers will find amusement at McDonald's Amusements, while the more active thrill seekers will be more at home at one of the many surf schools on offer in La Hinch, knowing they're in safe hands under the watch of Ireland's premier lifeguard station. La Hinch even has a thriving leisure centre, complete with gym and swimming pool. Do take heed of the rules, no jumping and no chewing gum. Anything else goes. A place where jumping is encouraged is the local play area, behind which you can see the majestic clubhouse of La Hinch Golf Club, which was designed by old Tom Morris of St Andrews, making La Hinch the unofficial home of golf. After all that frenetic activity, you might want to take advantage of La Hinch's reputation as a premier shopping destination. Here's my favourite, the Celtic T-shirt shop. After stocking up on my Celtic T-shirts, I decided to take some time out to reflect and be thankful at the local church. By now I was feeling pretty famished, so decided to see what was on offer on the food front, and I wasn't disappointed. Besides the various local options, the La Hinch food scene is truly international. English fish and chips, Italian pizza, even something for those partial to Asians. But since I'd come all the way from the north, I thought I'd test out the local southern stew before finishing off with a gluten-free organic ice cream on this seafront. Now, I don't know about you, but I fancy myself as something of a salty sea dog. If you do too, then you mustn't come to La Hinch without visiting the captain's table. It's incredible.
Reflecting on my time in the Hinch, I can safely say that this really is a mystic and special place with so much to do for everyone of all types and all walks of life. So if you are wondering where to go next on your vacation, give the Hinch a try. You will not regret it. This film was brought to you by Christopher Blake Travel Transformation.